Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today it is what sold on eBay for the week of January 31st through February 6th. So before we get started, just want to talk a little bit. Um, there is no true secret to what I do. Um, I basically go out there, buy a bunch of stuff, bring it home, list, and do it again. <laughs> there is so much stuff out there from Mercari that you can buy on Mercari, you can uh, cross post it to eBay. I mean, or you can buy from Macari to sell on eBay, and you can buy from Amazon to sell on eBay. I do that all the time. You can buy from Macari to sell on eBay. I mean, garage sales, yard sales, thrift stores, the bins. There is so many items out there. As long as you work hard, um, you'll make money at this. It's it's really that simple. There's not really uh, like a magic tool I can give you, a magic sauce that I have, or anything like that. Um, if you work hard, you if you list more, you're going to sell more. That's basically uh, wor what it comes down to. Um, I hate when YouTubers say, work smarter, not harder. That that just drives me up the wall. It, 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 <laughs> it, it gets me angry. I mean, um, I like to say is work smarter and harder than anybody else. Um, that's what I like to do. I like to work smarter and hopefully I work harder than most people. <laughs> I like to think so. And but yeah, every time I hear or oh, work smarter, not harder, that, 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 that makes me want to cringe. It drives me crazy. But anyways, um, if you have any questions, I'm, I'm on YouTube to help people. If I, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will surely get back to you. Um, like I do with almost all the comments. Um, I, try to answer every comment that I get so if you have any questions for me if you need help uh, let me know I'm just a single person I do this all by myself you can see my numbers I do pretty well on eBay um, I know kind of know what I'm doing <laughs> uh, don't really do YouTube for the money I do YouTube to help people so if you need help reach out to me I I'm there anyways let's get into the video let enough talking I got this guy Right here, uh, he's ready for Valentine's Day. Too bad I didn't list him for Valentine's Day. I completely forgot about him. Uh, he has a hole somewhere, and I gotta fix it. <laughs> That's why he's over here in the corner. So he has a hole somewhere. I have to fix it with the glue. And so he never got listed. But if you were gonna ship this guy, what I do is I tuck his head in, grab his feet, pull him up like this. He's got his arms like that. Shove him into the smallest bag possible. You can see <laughs> he kind of looks like a weird, weird little creature now. Um, and if the the bag is giving you resistance, put a straw in the bag while you're shoving them in. It'll let the air out. And then uh, when you're taping it, just smush them as small as you can and tape them as tight as you can. Because the smaller the bag that goes out of your house, the less the post is going to cost you. You can go from uh, him like this costing you forty dollars to ship or him in a tiny ball that'll cost you around eleven dollars to ship so uh watch your costs and um yeah i still got to do a shipping video for you i apologize for that <laughs> but anyways let's get into what's sold all right report for january 31st through february 6th i sold six thousand fifty three dollars and sixty seven cents uh, selling costs are $1,217.78. Net sales are $4,440.54. Uh, don't forget, that's not counting like the pirate ship. Uh, those uh, fees aren't taken out of the selling costs or added to the selling costs, I should say. Uh, quantity sold, uh, 167 items. Just sold almost double that I did last week. That's That's crazy. Average sale price, which is really good for me, is $36.25. So uh, it's down from last week, which I don't believe last week's numbers. Um, I didn't sell the sales price, I believe, were wrong last week. That's why I didn't even mention it last week. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into what's sold. I'll show you all the collectibles and toys and stuff. And then, of course, we'll hit the plush at the end. Direct blackest night series i got a ton of uh, just a ton of low balls on these uh this one uh, 
it was crazy. I finally sold it for twenty nine seventy four, but yeah, I got a ton of people wanting this, and I'm like, nah, I'm not even gonna uh, send offers back. I, I would send like, uh, I would send like twenty eight ninety nine and stuff like that because I was getting just a ton of offers on this guy. So finally, just sold at full price. Uh, people were uh, got tired of offering, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we went back and forth on this one. Just like yeah. So, if you find this one in the, the wild, I might have just listed it too low. Who knows? These are crazy. These are tiny little things. I mean, they're like this. These are super tiny. These are die cast. So, they're heavy. Um, this tiny package, I believe, weighed like 12 ounces. And that's crazy for a figure that's like this. And then another figure, uh, the kingpin, that's like this. But, yeah. Um, this one sold for $18.69. But, yeah. These... They're heavy little creatures. <laughs> uh, sold a few more Kiss um, items. This is uh, the Kiss official, official makeup. I sold one last week and I sold another one. Uh, like I said last week, I never thought this would sell at all. I mean, it's old makeup. I don't even know if it works. I might get returns on this stuff if they actually use it. Hopefully, they just keep it as a, in their collection. But yeah, this is super old stuff. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're going to use it or not. We're going to find out. Anyways, it sold for $15.29. Uh, McFarlane. This is Tim Brown from the Oakland Raiders. A lot of the guys or the players that aren't super popular sell more than the ones that are. I, I guess because there's less of them out there, I'm guessing. Because um, I have like super like popular players. I can't even think of them like uh, right now. Like uh, I don't know, like Tom Brady and stuff like that. Uh, but I'll sell like a Tim Brown before it. It's just <laughs> these just my these things like boggle my mind. These guys are selling uh, before the like superstars. But anyway, I know Tim Brown is a Hall of Famer, but. You know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, he sold for thirty-one forty-four. Uh, this is a Star Wars Titanium Series diecast Boba Fett Slave One, and all these toys I got off my uh, toy um, haul that I did a couple weeks ago. So I, that's why I haven't mentioned where I got it from. These are all from the toy guy. Uh, this one is, like I said, Slave One. It's just a this thing's like this too. It's super tiny. Uh, this sold for eighteen sixty nine. Another Star Wars guy. This is Count Dooku. Doo doo. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's more. He's kind of shaped like a GI Joe guy. He's pretty tall. He's like twelve inches, and he has like the cape that like it, it moves and it's soft like cloth. Anyways, uh, he sold for forty two forty nine. Uh, this Star Wars card game, it says it's customizable. I don't know how a card game is customizable. I mean, I guess you can cheat. <laughs> is it like uh, the Monopoly Cheaters Edition? I don't know. But anyways, it was sealed. It sold for forty six seventy four. dollars eh, But yeah, if you can find this out there, you can get $45 too. Hasbro Star Wars Unleashed. These are really, really nice. Um, the picture doesn't do it justice, but yeah, these these Unleashed figures are super heavy. It costs me about uh, $11 to ship these every time because they're super heavy. But they, yeah, they're, they're, they are really cool. I want to show you the back of the box. Yeah, this is how you can set them up. You can set them up to like shooting the creature. And then, yeah, you can set them up in different uh, ways. It, it it's crazy how nice these these uh, characters are, and they they go for a good <laughs> good buck. Uh, this one sold for eighty four ninety nine. Uh, one more Star Wars figure I wanted to show you. This is the guy that gets choked out. <laughs> uh, uh, these are just little Comtex. Uh, you can find these pretty much anywhere. They're usually pretty cheap. And you can find them loose, and if you can find them loose, you can get a few dollars off of them. Uh, this one sold for $19.54. There is a Kiss Men's necktie. This is one of the neckties that I kept. I've, I've talked about how I gave away all my neckties, and I just took them off my uh, stores because 
Um, there was just no way to like get to them very easily. I had them in a huge bin, and every time I'd sell one for like ten, fifteen dollars, it was just a hassle to get them out. So I've decided to just give away all my neckties and start over. Uh, this Kiss necktie just got off my toy guy, and it sold for thirty-seven, thirty-nine. So. Not bad. You can see. <laughs> uh, there's Gene right there. I, I don't know the other guys. Uh, I try. There's Peter. Peter. I don't know. Peter, Paul, and Mary. I don't know. Let's, <laughs> let's keep going. I'll finally. I'll learn their names eventually. <laughs> uh, Disney's Cars Halloween Special. This is uh, Fillmore's Festival from Doc Hudson. Uh, they just another another just two tiny 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 cars it's amazing how much these these tiny cars sell for uh, this one sold for 2549 let me show you a few more cars this uh, another uh, this is a Dodge 70s uh, showroom shine custom classic and again he's a little bit bigger uh, he sold for 2124 so you can actually make money just selling uh, Hot Wheels and die cast cars look at this one this is a hot wheels bat girl a bat cycle you can see right here there's three little cycles in them there's the the bat girl cycle there's the batmobile and there's the bat cycle uh, this one sold for 127.49 so that is a nice one there's another car that sold for great money so Try to remember all these when you're you're in the thrift store and everything else. I know it's a lot, but hey, um, if you can find one or two of these, it'll make your day. This is the Equalizer. They have another few guys, but keep an eye out for like the packaging like this. Uh, this package is damaged, and I told I uh, said it in the listing. Yeah, it has a little figure, and here's an Equalizer truck. With I don't know what that is, uh, but anyways, this sold for 110.49. So. Make sure you keep an eye out when you're when you're in the thrift stores. Keep an eye out for these guys. Uh, Robot B9 Johnny Lightning Lost in Space. Um, not familiar with Lost in Space. Never watched it. Um, this says it comes with the original film clip. I don't know what you plug that into or what. I, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this one sold for sixteen fourteen. Uh, Pokemon Valentine's Day cards. I barely got these listed um, last week right before Valentine's Day. All four of them sold super fast. Um, these sold for $18.69. So super happy to get rid of them before Valentine's Day. Because then I would get probably stuck with them till the next Valentine's Day. But yeah, I sold these Pokemon ones. And there was uh, some Star Wars ones. I believe I have a few more. Um, but yeah, these sold super fast and they sold for $18.69. Funko Pop. This is Thunderjaw. I've been listing these in like sets. Well, not sets, but I've been listing them like three at a time and two at a time. Because they're all different. Some of them got a little bit of damage. Some of them don't have any damage. So I've been listing these in like three that are, have no damage, three that have slight damage, and then three that have a lot of damage. So... I don't want to get complaints and I don't want to get returned. So I've been listening to these super, um, super slowly. Um, but anyways, every, every single time that I list them, I sell out. I have one more of this set. Uh, this set doesn't have any damage. Um, the first two sets, uh, one had slight damage, had like a box creases. And the other one had like plastic damage. So uh, from the stickers and GameStop, uh, I paid, I believe, like three, four dollars for these guys. And now that the part two of Horizon Zero Dawn is out, um, now they are selling. So super happy about these guys going. I think I have another set of three. Uh, one has, I know, has some box creases. And the other ones, uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> uh, McFarlane, this is Medusa. This one's a real cool one. Surprised this one did didn't uh, go for a lot more money. You can see he has like two little creatures. <laughs> There's two little creatures on him. And then the Medusa face. Look at that face. That's crazy. Uh, this one sold for $25.49. I thought for sure this one would go a lot higher. But oh well. 
Oh, I missed uh, one car. This is Monster Jam Fire and Ice Zombie. Uh, two sold of these. This is a Walmart exclusive. It's just two little monster trucks that you pull back, I believe, and they, they go forward. Um, uh, these sold for $38.24. Here's the Kobe statue I talked about, uh, I believe, like three weeks ago that I considered keeping. Uh, but when something sells for $50, there is no way I'm going to keep it. <laughs> You can see it's a really nice uh, Kobe Bryant. Uh, is this? Uh, that was from McFarland's. I thought it was from st uh, the starting lineup. But yeah, this is McFarland's. It has his number eight jersey. Yeah, just a really nice figure. And it sold super fast at $50.99. I thought I listed it um, too high that people weren't going to buy it. And I'd keep it on my shelf for a while. But obviously, I didn't list it high enough, right? <laughs> Uh, Dragon Ball Z orange coffee mug and coaster set got this off a GameStop sale when they were doing all the they were doing mugs and a whole bunch of different things from anime selling them super cheap I believe these were like 80 90 cents I don't remember what I paid because it's been a little while but yeah these sold for twenty two oh nine. I have six more uh, some of them have like plastic damage so I have to make sure and disclose that they have some plastic damage on it so I'll have to relist those green nectoplasm spawn this this one i got a ton of offers on too it was it was crazy just a lot of people going after this one so i decided not to do any offers on this one. Oh, i left the offers on let them keep sending offers but uh, i decided just to take the full price because once uh someone once a lot of people start giving you offers you know you're you're priced about right so just leave it alone and it'll sell eventually uh, this one sold for fifty-seven seventy-nine. The Simpsons Family Christmas uh, from Playmates Toys R Us. This one sold immediately. Um, I listed this at about four in the morning, and when I woke up around twelve, it was already sold. This one sold super fast. You can see there's a uh, Maggie with Santa's little helper, and just all, all the characters. You can see Marge has the. <laughs> Uh, things wrap around her hair. Homer's in a Santa outfit. But yeah, this is a nice little, well, it's not a little set. It's a nice set and it sold super fast for $67.99. Obviously, someone was looking for it. Uh, DC Universe Robin, this box was super bad. Uh, you can see the card inside wasn't that bad. It had a little bit of um, damage on it. But the box was super bad. I put pictures of it, how it's crunched and everything else. Um, but yeah, it still sold super fast at like two weeks. And it sold for $29.74. Oh, I have one more Star Wars item. I didn't even notice. <laughs> this was uh, one with an open box that has the this guy in it. I'm sorry, I don't know his name. <laughs> uh it just has, well, it's, his name is Pilot, I guess. Pilot with box, right? <laughs> this Star Wars Expanded Universe, this was used. It was an open box. Uh, my toy guy told me about that one of them was open, and this was it. And it sold for $29.74, and sold pretty fast. All right, finally, on with the plush. Had a lot of nice uh, items, or a lot, a lot of nice toys sell. But let's get on with the plush. Uh, this is a Nintendo Mario Hudson Black Bullet Bill. You can see his hands right there. He's, he's super angry. He's gonna he's gonna go and murder Mario. Uh, this one sold for sixteen ninety nine. Uh, been in my store for a little while. I'm glad to see him go. Mauna Loa Nut. This is a plush promo advertisement. Talk about being in my store for a while, man. This is probably this guy's probably been in my store for like six, maybe seven years. You can see he's just a uh, Mauna Loa uh, Macadamia Nut. <laughs> he's about eight inches tall, uh, Hawaiian grown. It says on the back of him, really nice little nut, and it still had the tag. Uh, he sold for seventeen eighty four. Uh, pink Hugging Monkey. Uh, this one has a red heart. A lot of Valentine's plush sold this week. Uh, well, you can imagine. <laughs> but a lot of them was super inexpensive and super cheap. So I didn't want to bore you with it. Hey, there's a Valentine's plush. It's a Valentine's plush. It's a Valentine's bear. 
But yeah, it was a lot of just uh, regular bears holding like hearts or monkeys holding hearts. So I just wanted to bring in a couple of Valentine's uh, plush that sold over the weekend because, well, it's Valentine's Day. Close enough. <laughs> this one sold for $16.99. Uh, Garfield is still selling. I am running low on Garfield. I really have to find Garfield and Smurfs right now are selling very well. This was uh, Garfield the cat with a suction cup on the back. It's a really old one. Uh, where's the suction cup? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you can see right there. It's hanging off right there. Uh, it has a mark in his eye, so he was messed up. Uh, he sold for $15.29. Squishmallow! Of course I have to show you a Squishmallow. This is Ethan, the elephant. He has two hearts right here. I got him out of Walgreens or, or Rite Aid. Uh, got him 95% off. 90 or 95% off. I use, used to go all the time and go to Valentine's. After Valentine's sales and Easter sales and just buy them all out. Um, this one I paid maybe a couple dollars and sold for $46.74. Ikea Triceratops Dinosaur. You see, this one is super nice. It has the, the everything soft in this guy. So you could probably give it to uh, a toddler and everything will be fine. Uh, these are selling for $21.24. I sold three already. And I have a bunch of Ikea stuff left. Oh, here's another Garfield. Uh, this is a play-by-play. -play, so he's just a generic Garfield. Nothing is special at all about this guy. You can see his tags all messed up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's selling for fifteen twenty nine. I still have three of three of these. Hmm, that's that's crazy. I didn't realize I had that many of those little. He's about this tall, so he's a not that tall. I didn't realize I had that many of them. Uh, Jemmy Frog's hip hop dancing singing in the club frog. He worked great. Um, I believe he was. I showed you him in one of my toy halls. Um, he dances and <laughs> sings in the club. You can see right there. He has the on and off. Uh, didn't find any comps on him, so I just made up my own price, and I guess it worked. I sold him for thirty-eight twenty-four. I don't know if I sold him for too low, but I'm happy with thirty-eight dollars for a little frog. Uh, brown teddy bear. This is a sushi chef. At least that's what I put it. I didn't know what else to put. <laughs> I just made up my own listing for this guy. I didn't find him anywhere. Uh, he, I just put brown flower kimono sushi chef clothes, black bead eyes. Um, he was kind of I don't know if he's handmade. Does he have a tag? No, he doesn't have a tag. So, um, didn't know what he was, but he sold, and I'm super happy he sold. He sold for $18.69. Uh, Funko plushes. This is Spider-Man. He has a shiny body. Um, Funkos do still sell. Oh, not Funkos. I mean, um, Spider-Man and all these these little tiny guys. They they sell fine. Uh, if you find a bunch of them, pick them up. I mean, if you can get them for fifty cents, you're not gonna. Get a million dollars off of them unless you find some rare one. Um, but this one sold for 16 14 14 <laughs> uh, This is a big old monster gorilla. Lucky he was super light, so he went under the 16 ounces. Uh, but yeah, this is just an old guy. Really bad picture. I should have put him in a different background. No. But he's been around my store for a while. Maybe like three, four years. Uh, he's from Circus Circus, so he's just a generic monkey that you win off the, like, the Midway. They call it the Midway up there. It's just, a, like, a little arcade that they have at Circus Circus. But anyways, he sold for $46.74. Valentine's Sweetheart Girl. I just wanted to show you two, uh, this one because I thought it was uh, cute. <laughs> it's just a little heart head. Um, so it's from Sweet Tarts. Sweet Tarts are a candy and... It's just one of the little like plushes that Sweetheart Sweet Tarts made. Sweet Tarts? Sweethearts? Sweethearts. I don't know why I got the tart part. <laughs> Anyways, she was cheap. She sold for eleven seventy two. Smurfette. I've talked about Smurfs in the past. They are 
crazy right now. I mean, <laughs> uh, they are selling very good right now, especially the odd ones like Smurfette and um, like Brainy Smurf with the glasses and the one with the heart on his arm. All the different Smurfs are selling. Not Papa Smurf so much. Surprising there. Uh, but I know there's a new Smurf cartoon out, so that is probably driving sales. Uh, this one sold for $21.24. Uh, Odie, this one is going, I believe, out of the country, and someone paid close to $40 for this guy. Um, yeah, what I did is I just put bubble wrap over his eyes and threw him in a poly veil. He'll be fine. He's a plush. Don't worry about him. <laughs> All my plush go in bags, no matter what the cost. And like I said, he went for over $40. Uh... Xmas Mickey, super happy to see him go. Have a ton of Mickeys just sitting around the house, not doing anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one finally sold, and it sold for twenty five forty nine. It hasn't been in my store that long. I mean, maybe a year, but um, have a ton of Mickeys that need to be gone right now. Uh, this is a weird one. This is a fairly very odd parents pillow. Um, it had a mark on his face. Uh, I believe I got this out of a Goodwill blue box. But yeah, it has a just a nasty mark on his face. I don't know what it's from, if there's a marker or what, but I made sure to disclose it. And of course, it's not like I can hide it. It's right on his face. You can see there's a mark on Timmy's face. Not sure if it belongs there or not. I had no idea. I'm guessing it's probably like marker, but it didn't feel or it didn't feel like anything. Anyways, this is an Embassy Suites pillow. And it sold for $19.54. Last but not least, this is a lot of two, lot of two bun bun. This is a Christmas guy. <laughs> um, just wanted to show you the Christmas sells all year round. Uh, basically everything sells all year round. I've sold Easter right after Easter. I've sold Valentine's after Valentine's. Sold Christmas after Christmas. It, it, it never makes any sense what sells. But anyways, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. If you need any help, leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to help you. Take care. Bye.